Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne Kimball, United States Army veteran and retired VA rating specialist. In today's video, I am going to be ripping the band-aid off the VA claims process. So if you're an active duty service member and you're going through that BDD claims process or about to go through that process, TAPS or whatever, or you're a veteran and or a spouse of a veteran or an active duty service member, you want to watch this video. I've been hearing and seeing a lot from veterans in the recent months, and I've talked about some of these issues that are going on behind the scenes at the VA. Well, I guess they're not behind the scenes because you see them in rating decisions. There is a small group of VA employees that are denying veterans benefits when they can actually approve those benefits and rating decisions and at the high level review. Now, I'm not saying it's all VA. I know a lot of people will say, oh, the VA is just horrible. No, they're not. There's a lot of good things that the VA is doing and there's a lot of good things uh, people inside the VA are doing and there are advocates for vets. There's just a small portion of them that are not doing it and they're not advocates for veterans, okay? So that's why I'm saying I'm ripping the Band-Aid off. OK, so it doesn't matter if you have a BSO lawyer claims agent, you're working with me or another company. If you submit that claim and it lands on that desk, or that person that's not an advocate and they want to deny the claim. They will deny it. And I've seen it because I've worked on both sides as a raider in that system and then working with veterans since I've been retired. Now. I'm going to challenge you to do three things, okay? Because those VA employees that are not advocates for veterans, they've just made this a dog fight. They just made a dog fight. So I'm gonna challenge you to do three things. One, reach down inside and tap that inner dog and say, it's time to go, I'm in a fight. That dog is inside you because either you're serving or you've already served. You went through basic, you went to AIT, and that dog helped you get through that. So that dog is inside you. You got to reach deep down inside and tap it and say, let's go. It's time to fight. Two, I need you to invest. And before I even go any further, all the naysayers out there, I'm not saying invest money. I'm challenging you to invest your time to get educated on this process. Because when you have a VA employee that's determined not to be an advocate for you and deny your claim, even though they can grant it, that's a problem. And you gotta be educated on what you need to do if that happens to you, opposed to just complaining about it. So I need you to invest your time to dig into that 38 CFR, to dig into that M21 manual reference. Start looking at court cases, start looking at these things that pertain to what you're doing with your particular claim. A BSO lawyer, they can't do it for you. You gotta do it. And three, I need you to get in beast mode. Yes, I need you to get in beast mode. Now, should you, have to do all of these things? No. But there's a certain portion of the employees that have now forced you to do these things. So either you can lay down and take it or you can stand up, tap into that inner dog, get educated, get in beast mode and do what it is you have to do to be successful with your claim. Now, as a former Raider, before I retired from the VA, I've seen some good things, I've seen some bad things, and I've seen some ugly things. I've seen some of my fellow team members deny claims just because they didn't feel the veterans should have it. In one case in particular, I can remember the branch of service the veterans served in, they're in the West, the condition they were claiming, the city and state where they lived. I'll never forget it. It was an easy case. Veteran was not service connected, 
claiming one thing, and if he would have got service connected for that one thing, he would only got 10%. That's it. That's all they were seeking. The veteran submits the claim, submits their lay statement of why they were claiming it. I get it. Request the exam. I say it's a long shot, but you know what? The veteran meets the criteria to get a CMP exam, and that's what I did. I go on vacation. A team member gets it. Short, to make a short story, to make it a short story, they end up denying the veteran. VSO comes to me, Dwayne, can you explain to me why you requested the CMP exam? Because your team member denied it. So I look at it, positive opinion, yeah, it should have been granted. When they went back out for an addendum, I'm like, I'm reading the addendum, and I'm like, oh, they shouldn't have done that. They're developing to deny. I did a video on that. And the doctor came back with another positive opinion. Now this vet has two positive opinions. And guess what? They still denied the veteran. And the VSO say, Dwayne, I trust your judgment. What are the veteran's options right here? I said, hey, developing to deny an attitude of the Raider. That's a 38 CFR. You need to get to know it. And you need to get to know it very well. Goes to appeal. Didn't see the VA. I'm sorry. I didn't see the VSO for months. About a year later, I see the VSO. And I'm like, I can't remember why I went up to the VSO and asked this question. I said, hey, whatever happened to that vet claim that you, uh, that you were representing? He said, yeah, we filed an appeal. And he got granted. And I'm like, man, that's awesome. He was like, no. Before they made the decision, the veteran died. And so I'm standing there and I'm like, and then I had to walk by this team member's desk and I just kind of looked down at him like, and I'm, I'm pissed. So when people ask me why I do what I do, why I chose to educate veterans and not represent veterans, that's only one of the reasons why I do what I do. And I'd be good and darn that I leave any vet behind or active duty service member that's relying on a VSO or a lawyer and they're not getting what they need because this is something that you can do yourself. But again, you got to have those three things. And I'm challenging you. You got to dig down deep. You got to get that dog because you're in a dog fight. You got to invest your time to get educated. And you got to get in beast mode. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. I have over 350 videos where I'm talking about this stuff. Trying to educate you. All the free training that I do. Trying to educate you so you can be successful. Everybody want to be a beast. But now it's time to do what beasts do. So what are you going to do? Let's go.